Well, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG. I am back from my trip to uh, to California. I was in California this weekend, this week with my family, uh, visiting my sister. Uh, got the flu. It was great. Uh, anyway, hope you're having yourself a fantastic day. Today, we're going to talk about this new uh, Islanders journey stuff, the, the new kind of spoiler season stuff, I guess, that we're getting from Flesh and Blood. Uh, we'll talk about it. We'll take a look at all the cards. We're not going to read through the story or anything. If you want to do that, you can go to the articles and read through Islander's journey uh, and and all the um, the journey into the forgotten good stuff. Great artwork here by Sam Yang illustrations and a great story that gives some of the background uh, to Islander. Uh, definitely something you should do on your own time. Uh, really cool stuff. Uh, biggest thing here, in my opinion, is Volcor. Obviously, we have been wondering what Uprising is. Uh, I have said in the past, I think we were either going to be going to Volcor or the Pits. When I heard Uprising, I said that I thought it was going to be the pits right like we're we're moving up from the pits it's uprising um anyway it looks like we're going to volcor which is going to be wizards uh you're a wizard harry so uh yeah school cool looks like we're going to volcor um, which is really interesting. I did not anticipate that we would get a reprint, like an, another Islander in the next set. That that did not um, that did not strike me as something that I, I thought would happen. Obviously, we have Islander here in the uh, the young hero state in Everfest that we never got a old hero that can be used for classic constructed. But now with this new journey, uh, we have seen a spoiler for day one, and we got day two, and we'll do day three i guess well, we'll see we'll, we're not gonna do just two cards so we might do an end of week thing but uh now we have the the same islander again this is exactly the same essence of ice um where the essence of ice there, there's no difference to the card ice card during an opponent's turn create a frostbite token under their control this is all islander uh, but we have a different artwork, so that's at least better. Uh, but it's printed as a token. So a Majestic from Everfest reprinted as a token in the next set. That surprised me. I, I, it doesn't really matter. The Islander Majestic wasn't really worth anything anyway, but it just surprised me. It was really, um, that was a, I would never anticipated that we would get Islander in this next set. But here we are. Uh, but then we got it as this amazing artwork. <laughs> oh my gosh, that artwork is so cool. This is bigger, bigger. That artwork is so cool. Look at that. It just looks so cold uh islander stormbind and so this is the um 36 life version of the hero that can be used obviously for classic constructed purposes so um really really cool awesome to see that now we have those in both and look at this this bear i love the bear in here that's like i'm cold stop making it so cold stop it but here's some other cards that we got, and, and here's what I want to talk. We're going to talk about these cards, and I'm not like a whiz wizard expert. We're just going to talk about them for a little bit uh, because there are new cards in the next set, and that's super exciting. And then I want to talk about Volcor and this in flames and, and some uprising things. I'm going to give some predictions of what I think is going to happen on the 26th. It'll be kind of interesting. So um, first thing first, we have Elemental. Oh, we'll get there. Let's talk about the cards. Let's talk about Channel Bleak. The Bleak Expanse this is really cool. Our, this is the type of stuff that I love seeing. Uh, if you guys remember a long time ago when we started seeing these bigger monsters come out with like Monarch, uh, when Monarch spoiler season was going on, I kept saying, man, look at these giant monsters. Like we're going to get some PVE, some L like eventually we're going to be fighting that monster. It was really cool to see this, these big, huge, um, before Monarch, it was mostly the, the cards were all basically a hero or a, you know, a weapon. There wasn't like a lot of background stuff happening but now we're starting to get these big um i guess you could call them expanses these big huge areas these locations and in the artwork that's really cool i think we will start seeing this kind of stuff in pve i think that's going to be really cool to you know to be able to hear about the locations in the in the game mode uh that we see in these artworks and these paintings and that kind of thing so i think that's going to be really cool this is a absolutely gorgeous piece of artwork this is definitely something i think will be on a play mat which will be really cool um, really cool, like mountain s thing. Looks like that could be like a dragon if it woke up. I don't know. Anyway, uh, channel the bleak expanse three pitch blue card. It's a majestic, uh, cost one. It has go again. It's an ice action. It's an aura. Uh, heroes can't reveal card search decks or draw cards from effect. This is a anti rune blade. Uh, like this is like completely going to shut down a lot of that kind of thing. 
Um, this is uh, this is going to be another card added to the arsenal. Uh, maybe not the actual arsenal, but the you know the decks of things that are trying to slow the game down. And I think this is probably one of the things that James White was talking about when he was uh, talking about slowing the game back down. And I think that's probably a good a good step. So, Channel Ice at the beginning of your end phase, put a flow counter on Channel the Bleak Expanse, then destroy it unless you put an ice card from your pitch zone on the bottom of your deck for each flow counter on it. Um, so, just another aura that kind of slows the game down and uh, makes it so your opponents can't do anything, but you have to each turn be pitching an ice card or you lose it. So, really cool to see the game slowing down again. Um, I think that'll, in the long term, be really good. Speaking of that, then we have Encase, uh, which is an elemental wizard action. Now, this one is um, a, a red pitch. Um, so, this has Ice Fusion, deal three arcane damage to any target. If Encase was fused and deals damage to a hero, freeze that hero and all equipment they control until the start of your next turn. A frozen object can't be played or activated. Good lord. Uh, wow. That's crazy. That is so cool. <laughs> uh, freeze that hero and all equipment they control until the... So basically, they can't activate their hero. So you could still attack, I guess, because you're not using... You don't activate. So my gut is that you could still attack. You could still use your cards in hand, but you can't use, use your equipment or your hero. Uh, that's really cool. Um that's again really slowing the game down and bring and this is a zero cost zero cost three damage um until the start of your next turn that's really cool uh so you could actually do this on your turn and prevent them from doing uh from using their uh well you wouldn't be attacking so they don't know anyway this is cool uh this is a, i like the freeze mechanic that's cool uh and then ice bolt deal three arcane damage to any any target uh I like the artwork there. It looks like it's coming out of a tunnel. Is that tunnel the... No, that's nothing we see here. Yeah, maybe in there. Maybe that's the tunnel. They're, like, fighting in a tunnel. Uh, ice bolts are cool. I love... I play, like... Whenever I play Diablo or um, or uh, Skyrim, I usually play as an ice wizard. Uh, so this is really cool to see all these things. Um, cool. All right, let's move on to day two. We've got some rares. So those were a common and then two majestics. Here we go. Day two, Ice Eternal, Islander Specialization. Oh my gosh, she looks freaking crazy here. What is she doing? She's losing it. Uh, you may only have Ice Eternal in your deck of your heroes. Islander, Ice Fusion. All right, create X Frostbite tokens under target hero's control. Then if Ice Eternal was fused, deal arcane damage equal to the number of Frostbites they control. Wow, that's huge. So double is X. So you got to generate, so you pitch six to do three, or you pitch nine maybe. I guess you could pitch, you could pitch nine to do four. Yeah, I mean, that'd be good. Four damage, and they get four frostbites. Again, really slowing the game down. That's kind of the story of Islander here. Really slowing the game down. This will be interesting to see in CC. Um, deal one arcane damage. Uh, this is ice bind, zero cost, three pitch. Uh, deal one arcane damage to any target. If ice bind was fused and deals damage to a hero, freeze a card that was in their arsenal. Oh, that's sweet. So you can't use the card in your arsenal. That's cool. Um, but so I, this is a blue pitch. So we'll probably get a yellow and a red pitch of this that does two and one or two and three arcane damage. And then for this blue one, for this rare, oh, this is specialization. So we won't. That's cool. Uh, all in all, really cool cards. I think this is going to be really good at slowing the game down. I think that's the the story of this story. Uh, slowing the game down is definitely a good thing right now. I think that's a, a good time for that as the meta is kind of evolving. All right, but now let's move on to this. I want to make a couple predictions here. Uh, so we have in flames. And one of the things I speculated on in Tales of Aria was that we would have a, you know, a, one of the elements would be fire. I really thought we would see that fourth element pop in. I was really confused at why that fourth element didn't pop in. And based on the borders changing here on like, even like Islander, the borders changing, uh, I, this is going to represent the essence of ice, I guess, because I don't think this is going to be the Vol Volcor borders. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm way, way off on this, but my point here is going to be that we're going to get, um, continue to see essence of, and we're going to get either ice 
and uh in uh, uh was it wind or was it what was the other element we're gonna get uh the other we're gonna get two of the elements from uh, from um from Tales of Aria, and then the addition of fire. So we're going to have a three-element set that's going to be missing one of the elements. I tend to think that the element we're going to miss is Earth, because Earth wizards are kind of just like a... They're kind of boring. Nobody really likes Earth wizards. I don't know. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but Earth wizards are a little bit boring. Um, and so... I don't know. Oh, lightning was the other one, right? So I think we get like lightning, lightning wizard makes sense. I don't know how many wizards we're going to get though. I don't think this is going to be just like a whole wizard set. It'll be really super. Oh man, look at that enemy there. I didn't even see that. So cool. But I think we're definitely going to get fire. You're going to see the, the, you're going to see some sort of fire fusion or something like that. Um, that, that'll definitely represent the fire that was missing, uh, in the, in the tales of Arya set. And that, that makes a lot of sense with Volcor, um, you know, as a thing. Now, this, if we are truly in Volcor, there is a, a world here where it's like all wizards. Um, uh, the, the lore in Volcor is, is pretty heavy focused on wizards. So that would be a completely crazy element. Now, we've already, I doubt that actually happens. Maybe we, maybe there's some other things that are thrown in. You do have kind of a Japanese style thing going on, so I think um, you might see some sort of uh, ninja ninja esque stuff. Uh, I would love to see like a lightning ninja. I think that could be really cool. Um, I, I think you'll see ninja. Uh, it's gonna be super interesting over the next couple of days. I, however, they're doing this spo this new way of doing spoiler season is really cool. I like it, um, and it'll be really interesting to see how much they continue to give us. I, I mean, release day is still. Uh, pretty far out, right? What's uh, product releases? Sorry, I'm completely out. We got history pack coming with the six uprising is June 24th, so April, May. So we got two months. We're two months away right now. So pretty early to start seeing the uh, the spoiler seasons for Flesh and Blood. This is super early for them. So very interesting. Uh, it'll be really cool to see what happens as we go. Uh, we will have pre-orders and everything up for that. I'm working on putting together a bundle for Uprising. Uh, that would be pretty cool and have a bunch of stuff. Uh, they still have Everfest on the website. Uh, that's not, apparently not officially coming. So just so everybody knows. Um, anyway, cool stuff and uh, love to see it. Love to see the the new way of doing spoilers and new kind of given some of the lore here. Make sure you go read the, the lore article if you're into that. That being said, hope you have yourself a fantastic day. Let me know what you think about the cards in the comment section and we will talk to you again in a couple days. Remember to be kind to the people around you.